All right, we're at the end of uh, turn seven's fight phase. Um, Nori over here killed the, uh, or Dory killed his goblin, and Nori missed, or lost the duel, and I missed. So uh, he just had to back away. And over here, Ori uh, really stood his ground and killed uh, two uh, goblins. Uh, he won the duel against all three. So uh, pretty good for him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go and roll for priority. All right, I got to die right here. Got three. You got a, oh, finally. Okay, I rolled a two. He rolled a three. So uh, priority goes to the good side. So we'll go ahead and let him uh, move his guys, and then I'll move mine, and then we'll do the courage test. All right, folks, we uh, got some battles going on here. Dory and Nori are involved in a couple skirmishes over here, and Ori, Dory, Nori, and yeah, Ori's got three surrounded. Now, last one, I did a oops. I thought he had two attacks. I missed ready. He only has one. So he's been in a pickle, he's got three freaking goblins and he only can kill one at a time. That might help him though, he can stop up the goblins over there from advancing. Um, and also, Dory has three and he has two, Nori. So just to let everyone know, I'm going to roll my courage test. Kind of misread him, I was on the wrong page. I rolled, Let's see, I rolled a... 6 and 11 or 6, 5 is 11 plus 12, 13, 14, 15. So I can bring back 5 goblins. A little so, and they're all going to be positioned by the goblin scribe. Oops. So there's 3. And then I'll actually have to take 2 that I haven't uh, varnished yet. All right, so definitely the uh, Golden Scribe's got some uh, added uh, measures on him. So we're going to go ahead and roll for priority. He scored a five, and I score a three. So good wins priority again. We'll go ahead and let him move. And then... Oh, uh, yeah, I just realized I did something wrong. Yeah, we're in attack phase, aren't we? Right. We so cut, we he's cut, totally we missed, right. We missed the moving phase because we can't move at all, literally. Right. So, so he's right. I'll attack. take these five guys off. My well, bad. We didn't do the courage point yet. So, so uh, the courage test is non void. I wish I can edit. I'm probably going to edit that out. Hold, well, I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave it in the video. And people make mistakes. So lucky my son said something. Um. That courage test has to be done on the end move phase only. Oh, I thought it was on the So, uh, oh wait, no, I just did it. Yeah, I'm right, because yeah. we're at the friggin' end move phase. Uh, I'm not going to Oh, I'm, I'm getting tired, folks. Just, just ignore me. <laughs> okay, so I put my five new ones. We're going to do the fight phase, and then we will go to round... Nine. Nine. Thank you. <laughs> my sons keep me in check. All right, we're going to do our battles, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, folks, we're done with our fighting phase for turn nine. Over here, a goblin got slain. Uh, Dory was able to kill one of the goblins. So was uh, Dory and Nori. Gosh. And then over here, I did not go well for Ori as he... Uh, Got one wound on him, so he's looking at, and he expended his la his only might point and his only fate point, so he's basically down to nothing. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, roll for priority. All right, he rolled a six, I rolled a four, so good gets priority again. Uh, we'll let him move, and I'll move, and then I'll do a courage test again. All right, folks, we uh, ended our movement phase for turn 10. Uh, Ori's engaged in one. He moved back. He was able to retreat a little farther than I expected. and uh, But I still got him by one goblin. Over here, uh, Dory's uh, engaging, uh, or no, 
That's Ori, or no, Nori, excuse me, he's engaging two, three golems. Dory has made his way to the first package, and these golems have advanced from their spot, stacked up pretty good, and this goblin has moved from his position on this entry. So let's go ahead and roll for uh, another courage test for the goblin scribe. And he got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So he gets four guys back to the board. And I'm going to put two up here. Actually, I'm going to put all four up in this corner. So all four are in that corner right there. So we got quite a bit of a... Uh, Commotion going on, so I'll do turn 10's uh, fighting phase, and we'll see you there. Alright folks, we uh, did turn 10's uh, action, uh, fighting phase, and Ori the Dwarf was slain in battle. He fought valiantly against this horde, but he was uh, ultimately overcome. And over here, these uh, goblins won the duel, and was able to strike two wounds, but... Um, Dory or Nori was able to uh, deflect one of them with his fate points, so he's down to one. So, and they're one inch away, so he can still retreat up the walkway. And the pack is still there, so we're gonna go ahead and roll for priority. This is a big roll here. You got a four, I got a two. So, good gets priority again, and we'll do the movement and we'll do the courage test for the scribe. And we will see you in round 11. All right, folks. So the end of uh, turn 11 happened uh, for the movement phase. See the goblins have advanced up this ramp. They moved over here and got some goblins over here. The more significant thing is that uh, Dory, he did his courage test, passed the courage test, and he was right. That was actually... Uh, the uh, items there and he is. So now he's carrying items. So the objective is to get it to the edge of the map, which he's very close. But with Sans' way, he's got two, four, six goblins in his way. And also, uh, Nori's got one wound. So he needs to be uh, pretty much running away from these guys. So we're going to go ahead and do the uh, courage test for the goblin scribe. And I got 10, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I was able to get 18. So I get to bring back 8 uh, goblins. So I'm going to put them on the edge of the map where I want them. Or the corners. I think it says the edge of the corners. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we will uh, go ahead and go to the next priority phase after that actually I'm going to put them probably because we get I'm going to go ahead and put them right here they have to be on the edge so doors still have some time Okay, so I put them there. Um, don't have any fighting, so we might as well. Uh, or shooting phase because he died or he's dead, so we're gonna go ahead and roll for priority. He got a six, I got a four. So luck with the uh, dwarves again. They get priority, so I'll let them go ahead and move, and then we'll do the courage test again. Alright folks, so we had some dramatic changes of events here. The uh, dwarves decided in their uh, movement phase to go ahead and, since they moved, to do a jump. Which the jump, if it, or if there's an obstacle, which that is jumping down, you can jump down to an obstacle, or leap. And I let them go ahead and do it because the rules are kind of unclear on... If you can do a lower level on, it's less than half your height. What you see is that they're taller than the uh, obstacle barely. So, I mean, if you look at their height, they're taller than it. 
So I said, all right. So we did it as a leap test. It said this dwarf dropped down here. But the big thing is Dory, he uh, was able to get a six. So he only moved two inches plus the three. He was able to hit the edge of the map, which means the dwarves <laughs> win. Because it says in the book, it said they must escape with the items. So he does escape. And before they get two casualties, so it doesn't say two or more needs to escape. It just says they need to escape with the one. So good side wins in scenario two. So, uh, scenario three. So good has two wins versus evils one. So congratulate. Pretty smart. I didn't think he could do it. I said, you know what? He's at the edge of the map. It's like a leaping test. Basically, you're leaping from the platform down to another one because it does say in leaping that you can move. From one down, as long as it's uh, not within the inches or half their height or whatever it was, two inches down, which it wasn't. So he was uh, lucky in that. So he has won the game. And so now two is and so now three <laughs> is beaten. And we'll do four and five tomorrow. And I'll probably end it uh, the next day with the uh, extra quest of Radagast the. Uh, Brown's quest. So, hope you liked our video. Uh, we enjoyed doing it. It's pretty fun. And we'll see you in scenario four.